Master, fellow Toastmasters, this is going to be a very less than serendipitous <laughs> type of evaluation. <laughs> Debbie, I always really enjoy watching you speak. You have a very calming, soothing voice about you, and your body position and your body language sort of draws me into your speech. I really do appreciate that. I don't know if that was your intent or if that was that's something that comes naturally to you, but it's very well done. Your intro was very well set up. It allowed me to understand what mentoring is and, and what you will need to do to be a good mentor. I did really enjoy your use of hand gestures. I don't think that that is one of your biggest strengths is your hand gestures. Um, how you actually go about using hand gestures to actually relate your point to the audience is very well done. Your tone of voice, again, like I mentioned, it's actually almost pretty soothing. Again, I'm not sure if that was your intent for this speech, but it does, it did what, it was very alluring. It sort of like pulled me more into the, to the topic that you were talking about. You had good eye contact with the audience. Did really enjoy where you, you were know, looking around the room and making that really good eye contact. That was great. You have a very good use of body language, especially when it comes to, you know, your hand gestures and upper body positioning. I think that's one of your strengths. Good vocal variety. Takes two to tango. Right? I did like that emphasis on that. I really noted that. I think that was really great. A few things that I'd like for you to work on. First, relying on notes. I'm not really sure if this, this particular speech allowed you to use notes, but I think it actually took a little bit away from the, the presentation. Not, not to a huge extent, but I think if you sort of more had that sort of <coughs> basis memorized, I think you can give back a little bit more into the audience. So that would be my first challenge Mike, for you. The second challenge is to get rid of the lectern altogether. I really, like, I remember evaluating you last time, and, you know, you were very rigid. This time you weren't. You were more sort of relaxed and flowed with it, but I think if you got rid of the lectern and planned out where you would be in certain areas of your speech, then I think you could be very more, like, you could have more an effective speech. So planning out, you know, stage left at this point, stage right on this point. Right? I'm going to approach the audience more on this point. Right? I'm going to take a step back on the stage on this point. Right? So just planning it out, and that way I think you'd be more effective, like more effective at getting your point across. Overall, I think you did a really amazing job. I really enjoyed your speech, and I hope that uh, would help you out for the next speech. Thank you.